Hey guys, VBED here with another V Plays, and we're hopping into the F7F Tier 7 American Heavy Fighter. Now, this aircraft tends to be underloved for, well, one major reason. It's not a P 38. The P 38 is kind of the best of all worlds. It's fast, it's maneuverable, it has great altitude performance, great climb, and if you want, it can carry a ton of rockets and bombs on the P-38J model, and then you get to this, and while it carries the bombs and rockets, it only has eight rockets opposed to the, what is it, 10 you get on the J, and then two 500 pound bombs. This just has a big thousand pounder in the center, making it a little bit less versatile, and you lose your big, heavy hitting 37 millimeter cannon, but you do trade it for 420s mounted in the wing roots, and then you still get your or 50s mounted in the nose so there is something to be said for that now the altitude performance is actually fairly lacking on this platform which is understandable but at the same time it has the speed and oomph to be able to take out some of these light aircraft pretty effectively should uh should i actually get my guns on target there Gonna go ahead and yo-yo my way up to a higher altitude. Kick the rudder. Really good rudder on this aircraft. So if you do decide that you want to use rudder mechanics, there's something to be said there. Using the 20s in a burst pattern here. And hammering down as we get close. Managed to knock that aircraft out pretty quick. And now we still got our munitions, so let's go ahead and get that altitude back, head over to that military facility, and let's pick that up if we can. We do have our big thousand pounder for us to drop still. We go ahead and hit the cooler. I see a key 93 over here, not something I really want to get stuck in a long range engagement against, but I think we should be able to get the jump on him if I just pay attention and try and get this lined up properly getting a little bit of that airspeed back he has an engine out he's gonna kill our doe i believe but he's put himself in a bad position oh don't you turn got him but he wasn't in the zone so not perfect but not terrible heavy's a bigger threat now Heavy's not a threat. That bomber's gonna be gone in a second. Got him. Moving on to the dough. Dipping the nose to get a little bit of that airspeed back. Coming up from underneath is always a good tactic. He's turning to try and come back to the mill base again. We've got good sustained damage with this aircraft. It's a lot like what the VB-10 has, that premium French tier 7, when it comes to its overall firepower. There we go. So you do have the ability to gun down aircraft fairly effectively like you see here. Bomber squadron detected. Engage them immediately. Good hits. Not quite a kill. Being very gentle in the turns here. Looking for targets that are otherwise engaged in another maneuver. And then knocking out targets as they come up. What are you, Spitfire? Yeah, human controlled. But he turned too early. I'm not sure what the thought was there, but... Must have saw a squirrel. Coming back on the Spitfire since he is a priority target. Picked up the zone. Lost our pilot. Kinda saw that coming though.
Aqua Wolf is engaging. We're gonna break off, get low, get fast. Hit that cooler, start building back up our boost as we get the distance. It looks like the Faka Wolf has put himself in a bad spot. He is getting chased down. And he's gone. Nice. Don't want to overturn, overcommit. Oh, we got one of them aircraft on our tail. The F-109s are always a pain, so wanted to get a little bit of distance from him. We're going to passively regen the rest of our health. There's the Spitfire. just ram each other it looks like we did but the zone was locked not a good choice for him he's actually made a bad shade trade if you would and then we'll get back in there and see what else there is to do uh yeah this battle is going to be over pretty quickly but we were able to effectively take the zones we needed to take we were able to take out a couple of the bomber aircraft and we'll mm, let's not settle in there see what we can do here I don't think we'll have enough time to do anything else this match. Yep. That's it anyways. Throw up a good game. And number one on the team, 9,000 personal points. So, you know, not the best result ever, but uh, as far as a strategic asset goes, the payload is decent enough. The firepower has good range. The altitude performance is a bit lacking, but... I'm not going to complain too much about that. Uh, the rudder turn is solid. That is a huge service area and actually plays out fairly well in combat. So if you are into kind of doing the pedal turn, this definitely can do it. That allowed us to be able to pick up 9%. Nice. That was not too bad at all. I think it might have a lot to do with the fact that we were able to capture four sectors, which is participate in capturing sectors. That probably helped us quite a bit. We don't have too many more aircraft to kill, but with a combination of bombs and rockets, we should be able to specialize this in no time. And we still don't even have the capability to throw on here a modification for being able to get increased accuracy on the main guns. We'll be able to get that. I will be throwing pneumatic control assist on here because while it isn't the most maneuverable platform for the heavies, it definitely isn't bad. And it will also have the capability of upgrading the outboard weapons. For which we're actually going to go with the aerodynamic pylons to give this a little bit more speed but at the same time we're going to use the consumable to increase the oomph of the air to ground ordnance. That will mean that this aircraft is going to fly a lot more like your bow fighter would at tier 5 just at tier 7 and lacking a tail gunner but generally speaking it's not going to be super maneuverable. It's not going to have the best altitude, but it will have air-to-ground ordnance people are going to have to be aware of, as well as very consistent damage coming from the combination of 20s and 50 caliber machine guns. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, I'll catch you on the next one.